On Monday, January 14th, Deputy Premier Dr. Kedrick Pickering signed a memorandum of understanding between the BVI Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Agriculture to formalize a commitment to develop the sport of horse racing and to allow for the effective movement of horses between the Virgin Islands and the USVI. Horse racing has become one of the distinguishing features of our territory's culture, and it remains a central element of our identity. This sport has always brought generations of family and friends together for competition, enjoyment, and camaraderie. The MOU has a five-year lifespan and replaces a similar agreement in the past. It sets forth procedures of reciprocal cooperation for the temporary movement of horses between the territories for the purpose of racing and will assist each territory to meet its responsibilities for appropriate health standards. The MOU will help to avoid duplication of efforts on the territory's part for protecting the horse population. And I think that has very practical implications for both sides of the divide. So by signing the MOU, we are also agreeing to share information with authorized personnel that relates to the movement of horses between the USVI and the BVI, including all animal disease records. And I'm sure each and every one of you involved in the, the sport will have a strong appreciation for what that really means. So not only including disease records, but respective registries, inventories, and listings of horse racing organizations that fall under their purview. Area veterinarian in charge of the Puerto Rico and USVI districts within the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Fred Saltero, signed on behalf of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Saltero says regulating equines for racing events is an intricate process and the MOU represents the start of a new relationship between the territories. And I know um, that by facilitating the implementation of this MOU, um, we will be agreeing to designate a liaison officer to serve on standing committees that we will meet as necessary um, no less than once a year. So um, whenever this five-year agreement is, is nearing the termination that we don't have to go through all this process again, this standing committee will be there to facilitate the uh, the renewal of the of the memorandum and to change it as needed. Dr. Pickering noted that the previous MOU expired in early 2012. He added that this renewal process is more forward thinking and looked at improving on past experiences. Fred Saltero also stated that the new agreement allows for a speedy approval in the movement of equines for sporting activities between the territories. The minister further confirmed that the Ministry of Agriculture is equipped to handle the monitoring and disease control aspects outlined in the renewed agreement.